Lucas Palmeira from Imaginando and I'm here to give another tutorial on DRC. For today's tutorial, we're on a classic, a big classic, written by Stu Phillips and comes from the original soundtrack of the TV series from the 80s called Knight Rider. So let's get right into it. Okay guys, so we have five sounds to make. Let's start with the first one that sounds something like this. Okay, it's kind of a plucky sound, sounds a little bit like a muted guitar. Let's bring back the default patch. Okay. It has this glue compressor here, I'm going to turn it off for now. Okay, and the first thing I'm going to do is change the first oscillator to a square and raise the pulse width so I can make it thinner, a pulse width to 905. As you can see, it gets thinner in harmonics. Okay, and now five hundred uh, on the envelope generator two amount, the one that controls the cutoff over time. We want it at five hundred and eighteen, and cutoff at zero and resonance at zero, but we want to change the filter mode from a low pass for pole to a band pass for po uh, to pole. Yeah, like this. Now envelope generator one, the one that controls the amplitude of the sound. 020, 189 on the DK. Sustain at zero. You can see it's already rather, rather plucky and on release 195. Okay. Nice. Envelope generator two. We want zero attack, zero sustain, zero release, but a decay of 340. Okay, finally we go to the reverb. We want a decay of 300. Damping five, four, five, five. It's, this is almost default. Modulation at 479 and amount at 213. Okay, we got our first sound. Now to get the other one, which is basically almost the same, let's turn the glue compressor on again. What you have to do is copy, the, uh, sorry, copy this one and then you can just go here Delete the paste it on the other track. And the only thing that you have to change is the pulse width modulation from 905, which we had on the last one, to 929. This is because both of them are playing sequentially, like one plays, the other plays, one plays, the other plays. And since there is this slight difference on both of them, it sounds like it doesn't sound exactly the same always, and it sounds a little bit more like a guitar playing. Okay, so we got these two ready. Now let's go to the bass. Okay. So let's bring back the default patch. First thing, change first oscillator to a square. Again, let's go to the pulse width modulation and now to 826. Now we want the master and the pre-gain at 800. OK, 
Okay, now for the envelope generator two amount, we want it at 512. This is basically almost the same. Cutoff maximum resonance zero. Now let's go to the modulation. This is modulation of the cutoff and we want to raise the velocity to 266. This means the higher the velocity, the higher the cutoff. Now for the first envelope generator, we want 0, 400 on the DK. Uh, sustain of zero and a release of 225. For the second envelope generator, we want zero, 230, 400, 100. And okay. So I, sorry about that, I forgot to do something, which is to drop the cutoff to 100. It's not maximum, it's 100. And this is the last thing we do on this sound. Okay. We got our bass. Now let's go to our chords. These chords are quite bright, as you can see. I'm going to turn off the equalizers and the delay modulator for now so you can hear just the sound because it didn't sound like that. Okay, and bring back the default patch. Okay, default. First thing that we're going to do is raise the second oscillator to maximum, drop one octave and detune it to 160. Yeah, like that. Pre-gain at 515. Sub-oscillator 606. And let's go to sub-oscillator and raise one octave. Now get the ring modulator and raise it as well. Okay, now we, for some modulation on the pitch, here we want to modulate oscillator 2 with LFO2, which has a rate of 376. Okay. And now modulate it to 220. Okay. Now for the filter, envelope generator to amount at 560. Cutoff, we want it at 756. Okay. Resonance at 522. Okay, now let's go to the VCA, the part that controls the amplitude of the sound, and we want the keyboard to be minus 531. This means the higher the note, the lower the volume. 531. Okay. Now, first envelope generator, the one controlling the amplitude, we have zero attack, maximum decay, a sustain of 406 and a release of zero. Second envelope generator, we got zero. Attack, maximum decay, a sustain of 660. And 100 release, okay? Now for the reverb, we want an amount of 443. A decay of 449. Damping of 500 and a modulation of 467.
finally, we go to the chorus, turn it on, a rate of 207, and a depth of 467. Okay. Next, we got this equalizer. Cutting everything up below 677 and boosting a little bit of on 8080, 4 dBs, actually. Then we got the delay modulator with 283 time, zero feedback, 300 depth, 087 rate, and a dry weight of 527. And another equalizer, which basically has a low cut at 7.9 kilohertz, and it has a 7.8 dB um, boost at 2.2 kilohertz. And we got this quartz. Now let's go to the lid. Nice lead, turning off the delay modulator, the equalizer and the mono. Okay, and bring back the default patch. Okay. First thing I'm going to do is raise the second oscillator to maximum and change drop on octave and detune it to 160. 0.32, sorry. 0.32. A master at 7.20. Pre-gain at 7.02. Okay. Now for the filter. Envelope generator 2 at maximum, cut off, let's drop it to 736. Resonance at 0, and now for the first envelope generator. 074 on the attack. 500 DK, a sustain of 956. Three hundred and sixteen on release. Now for the second envelope generator, the one controlling the amplitude, we have zero sixty two on the attack. Two thirty on the DK, a sustain of five hundred and fifteen. Two hundred and sixty-eight on the release. Okay. Finally, for some reverb, amount of two hundred and ninety-seven. Decay of five two seven. And a modulation of four seven three. Now we have this high pass filter on 323 hertz. Uh, then a delay modulator with 200 times, zero feedback, 227 depth and 103 rate with half dry wet. And now it's two stereo for the song and we basically put a mono on it. Okay, now let's go to the last sound. This leads high. Okay, gonna turn off this equalizer for now and bring the default patch. Okay, default patch on. And first thing we have to do 
is go to the second oscillator, which we're going to raise to 539. And detune it to 64. Okay. Sub oscillator to maximum and raise one octave. Okay. Sorry. Yeah, pre-gain. Yeah, it was a pre-gain. Okay, so we want a pre-gain of 799. It was almost there. Yeah, it's about 800. Then a master of 711. 711. <laughs> yes, 711. 14 should be okay. Now, envelope generator 2, we shouldn't mess with that, it's perfect, and we want an attack of... Okay, I was, uh, I was on the one that was already on. So, master at 7, 7, 11. And uh, pre-gain of 7, 9, 9. Now attack at zero sixty two decay of three seven six sustain of two six one three nine nine release. Okay, it can be four hundred. Envelope generator two, we got zero ninety two on the attack. A decay of two twenty. It's two thirty, two twenty, okay. A sustain, we want the sustain to be four hundred. So it's default. And a hundred on the release. Okay, now we turn on this equalizer, which has a low pass at about 303 hertz and a boost, a high shelf of 4.5 dBs at 4.64 kilohertz. And I think we got this ready, guys, so bear with me just a second while I get this ready first to listen to. So. Okay, I think we got everything ready. Just gonna increase this so you can see these things a little bit more what they are. Yes, okay, let's listen. <laughs> This was it, guys. I really hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. This is a great song, a classic indeed. If you like our content, please give us a like and subscribe to our channel. That means a lot to us. I can only say now that we have loads of content coming up, so be sure to check that out. I will now say goodbye.